find the solution of the linear system by graphing. All graphs must be drawn on graph paper. And we have two equations, uh, linear equations. We have x minus 2y is equal to 0 and 3x minus y is equal to 0. We're going to go ahead and graph uh, these equations on a graph paper. And we're going to write our solution here. But before we do, we're going to write each equation in slope-intercept form. So let's start with the first one. We have y minus, I mean x minus 2y is equal to 0. And then we also have 3x minus y is equal to 0. So our first step is uh, to subtract x from both sides of the equal sign. We'll be left with negative 2y is equal to negative x plus 0. And then we're going to divide by negative 2 on both sides of the equal sign, leaving us with y is equal to 1 half x. So this does not look like slope-intercept form, but it is. We have y is equal to m 1 and a half x plus b, and our b is 0. All right. So now that we've put it into slope-intercept form, let's go ahead and identify our m, which is going to equal to 1 half and our b, which is equal to 0. Let's do the same for our second equation. We're going to subtract 3x from both sides of the equal sign. We're going to be left with negative y is equal to negative 3x. We'll divide by the coefficient, which is negative 1. That's going to turn our negative y into a positive y is equal to positive 3x. Now again, this does not look like slope-intercept form. However, it is. We have y is equal to m, which is 3, times x plus b, which is 0. Kay. So now let's identify our m and our b. It's m is equal to 3, or 3 over 1. And then our b is equal to 0 again. Now that we have our m and our b for line 1 and line 2, we can go ahead and graph this on graph paper. So let me start by writing down my m1 and m2. So m1 is 1 half, and my b1 is equal to 0. And then my m2 is going to be equal to 3, and my b2 is equal to 0. And I'm saying uh, m1 referring to the first line, and b1 referring to the first equation of a line. And then b2, m2, and b2 referring to the second equation. Now let's go ahead and graph it. So what are we going to do here? Let's go ahead and do this. And I'll do this. So here's our x-axis and here's our y-axis. We'll start with our b, which is 0. That's going to be our first point. And then our slope is 1 over 2, rise over run. We're going to rise 1, run 2, get our second point. And then we're going to rise 1 and run 2 again, get our third point. Then we'll get a straight edge. And we can draw our line, like so. And then our second point is going to be starting at y-intercept of 0. It's that same point at the origin. And our slope is 3 over 1. So we're going to rise up 3, run 1. And that's going to take us to there. We'll do it again. We'll rise up 3, run 1. That'll take us to there. And now we have our three points. We can connect them all together and draw our arrows. Right. So this is uh, line one. Here's line two. And what is the solution? It's where they meet, uh, where they connect, where they intersect. And that is the point zero, zero. It's the origin. Right. So I'm going to go back to my handout here. And my order pair is going to be zero, comma, zero. All right, let's go ahead and do one more. We have uh, our two equations of a line is 2x plus 3y is equal to 36. And we have negative 2x plus y is equal to negative 4. So let's go ahead and write our two equations. We have 2x plus 3y is equal to 36. And then we have negative 2x plus y is equal to negative 4. 
So let's start with this one. The first step is to put it in slope intercept form. So I'm going to subtract 2x from both sides. And that's going to leave me with 3y is equal to negative 2x plus 36. Now I need to divide by the coefficient in front of the y. So I'm going to divide by 3, like that. Not negative 3, but positive 3. And that's going to leave me with y is equal to negative 2 over 3 times x plus 36 divided by 3. Right? So th 3 goes into 36 12 times. So it's going to look like that. Right? y is equal to negative 2 over 3 times x plus 12. All right, let's go ahead and do the same thing over here. We'll add 2x to both sides of the equal sign, and we'll be left with y is equal to 2x minus 4. And what do you know? It's already in slope-intercept form, so we can stop now. We want to now identify our m and our b, and so over here our m is equal to negative 2 over 3, and our b is equal to 12. On line 2, our m is equal to 2, or 2 over 1 and our b is equal to negative 4. So we can go ahead and uh, start graphing now. So let's go to our graph paper. And the first thing I'm going to do is list my m1 is equal to negative 2 over 3, and my b1 is equal to 12, and my m2 is equal to 2, and my b2 is equal to negative 4. So it seems like we have a wide range, right? So let me go ahead and draw a very tall y-axis. And then I'm going to go this way, like that. So here's my x and here's my y. So our y-intercept is 12. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. All right just made it tall enough. That's our first point. And then our slope is down to run 3. Down to run 1, 2, 3. That's going to be my second point. So this is 12 over here. Down to run 3. That's going to be my third point. And then I'm going to get my straight edge and line everything up. Draw it. Put my arrows on the end. And then I'm going to look at my second M and B. So we've got two, uh, I'm sorry, negative four. Oh, wow. Down here, negative four is our first point. And then we have two over one. So up two over one, my second point. Up two over one, that's my third point. And let's see where these two guys meet. Ooh. This might be an interesting solution. So, so where do they meet? They meet right there. Now I'm double checking my work to see if I did the problem correctly. Divided by positive 12. Yes, that's right. Yes, that looks right. And so this point here is my solution. And so I'm not sure what that is. Maybe we could say it's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8 and a half. Here's 8. Let's say 8 and a half. And then we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 and a half. So let's say 8.5, 5.5. What about that? We'll just guesstimate it. So we're over here, we're going to write our order pair. It's going to be x is 5.5 and then our y is going to be 